Rovers. It's Duffy's corner. Oh, it's there! It's Sean Hall. Brilliantly executed. Wonderful corner by Michael Duffy into just the right place. Hall arrived and buried it with a header. Yeah, it was nobody near him, George. It was a great ball into the box. It's a bullet header, but I'd like to see again who's supposed to be marking Sean Hall. He doesn't miss from there. It's a fantastic header. Here we see it. Nearly always on the money, on the mark. Duffy, brilliant ball into the box. He just runs off. I'm not sure whether it's Lee Grace or Roberto Lopez. It's one of them, and he buries it into the net. Doesn't miss from there. Fantastic header. I think it may have been Lee Grace at the back post. I just got caught ball watching a little bit. Hasn't happened too many times this season to Lee Grace. Been very, very good for Overs, but I think it's him that just gets caught ball watching, and it's a bullet header in. And like I said, Dundalk were just grown into the game in the last few moments. Right? George Rovers had started well, but everything in front of Dundalk. And they've upped the tempo a little bit and they take the lead. McElhinney and Huben. Benson. Now Massey. Duffy. Oh, beautiful goal. Robbie Benson. What a ball in again, it was fantastic play, patience again from Don, that's what I'm saying, the difference, ball into the box early, get your crosses in, get people on the end, and brilliant ball in, and brilliant movement again from Robbie Benson, been very good in this first half, looks like he's back to himself after a season of a lot of injuries, but full of header again, two fantastic goals, and again, Rovers caught sleeping a little bit at the back, ball watching, coming in off the far side, here we see it, just again, a ball out of the feet, very simple, no pass on, I'm going to whip this into a good area here. Robbie Benson comes across the centre half, guides a header in, brilliant header, great ball in from left foot from Patrick McElhenney. Robbie Benson gets in between Lafferty and Roberto Lopez and buries it in the corner. Brilliant goal. McElhenney's cross and Robbie Benson in for his first goal in over a year. Hasn't scored since Bray in August of 2018. And there's number two for the champions elect tonight. 2 0. Cavanaugh away from Shields. Kavanaugh looking for the run here of Green, and Green's in! Well, there you are, direct route, and Dundalk finally concede again. Yeah, Aaron Green gets the goal. And that's what we're talking about. I'm watching Aaron Green in the game, and he's made some great runs, and Rovers have just passed and passed and passed in front of him, and he's got to a straight. And this time, it's a brilliant run from the striker. Great ball in behind the two centre-halves, and a good finish from Aaron Green as well, straight down the middle of the goal. But it's a great ball from Kavanaugh, bent in behind him. Aaron Green, brilliant run, nice and calm, good finish, direct ball, what we spoke about, first time in, goal for overs, back in the game. The play, but again, quick quick ball forward for Aaron Green, who is quick. Massey, first time forward towards McElhinney, holding off uh, O'Neill, and now it's Duffy, and Duffy with a shot! And Duffy with a goal! Oh my God, what a strike, what a goal from Bundock, what a response as well, just saying that the mini won't be happy to start the second half, he's more than happy now, men jumping raptors at that one, but you won't see a better goal anywhere, what a finish from Michael Duffy, he's been different class tonight, made it a goal this time, brilliant strike, great little one too, when he went off the line, we've seen it do so many times in his career at Dundalk, come in off this left-hand side, he see a ball played up from Hall, I think that time, does really well, holds her up for him, and then he, and he, he's only one thing in his mind here, I'm smashing this, and he smashes it into the top corner, and what a finish it is, I think it's Patrick McElhenney maybe lays it off him, but you see it from behind there, brilliant technique, brilliant finish, what a goal from Michael Duffy. There was so much wonderful about that, Pat, it started with the goalkeeper to Dane Massey, who helped it on first time to McElhenney, who held it up and released Duffy, and that was the finish. That's what I'm saying, and, and for me, that's the difference. Three or four passes, balls in the back of the net. Listen, game against the big rivals in the cup. Here they come with Burke, and it's Graham Burke still. McAniff. Oh, they've got another one. It's come back, kill themselves that time, give the ball away very, very cheaply at the back. They're all having a debate about it at the moment. Who's blaming who? I'm not too sure, but good finish from McIniff, who has scored a few goals this season as well, being out with a few injuries too. Here we see it. Ball's played back in. It's a poor clearance, isn't it? It's a poor clearance. I thought they'd just taken too long about it, but McIniff just shifts it onto his right foot. Maybe a little deflection. Off to the lock, fender off, Hora thinking. Here we'll see it. Gets a shot away, just comes off and 
Receives Gary Rogers into the corner. Rovers back in the game again. Put Shamrock Rovers back inside their own half. They've got to get back up the other end and try and get the goal that would deny Dundalk their title, but that's not going to happen. Dundalk are champions for the fifth time in six seasons. With four games to spare, they move on to 80 points, and that is a bridge too far for Rovers to make up. Yeah, it's a fantastic achievement for Dundalk. Vinny Perth and his coaching staff as well, you know. Like I said, it, it's, it's difficult for them to keep that going, but the hunger, the will to drive on and keep winning trophies, and these players deserve huge credit for that as well. They've won some amount of trophies over the last five or six seasons, and they've cantered to another league title this year. Magnificent performance uh, over the season by Dundalk. They did concede two goals for the first time in uh, eight matches. Goals that don't ha happen to go into the Dundalk net very often, but they scored three of their own, and the one that proved decisive was surely the jewel of the crowd. Oh, what a striker was from Michael Duffy. I thought in the first half he was excellent for Dundalk, but you won't see a better goal anywhere. When you see it from behind him, from the far end, it's a brilliant strike, always rising, always going away from Alaman. It's a fantastic goal to win any game. And give Rovers credit as well, they kept going, had a couple of chances late on in the second half, maybe to nickel equaliser, but, you know, it's Dundalk's night, they deserved it. 15 points ahead, fantastic season for them.